Today we're diving into a big question for homeowners in Renton, Washington. How much does it actually cost to sell your home? I go on many appointments and many people don't have a good understanding of the cost to sell a home in the greater Seattle area. And it's not the same in every state. I'm going to go through the cost so you can know what to expect up front. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Jackson with John L. Scott Real Estate. I'm your trusted real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area. Please reach out to me anytime with any questions. I'd be happy to help. Whether you're upgrading to a bigger place, you're relocating out of state for a job, or retiring, selling a home is an exciting time. I learned in my 20 plus years that most people do not know the true cost to sell a house. It is very expensive to sell a house. It is very important to know the costs involved so you're fully prepared and can maximize your profits and have an accurate picture. Let's get started with one of the biggest expenses, the real estate agent commissions. When you sell your rent and home, you will likely hire a real estate brokerage and a real estate agent to list your home and represent you. That agent will negotiate for you, creating strategies to help you sell your house and meet your goals and will market your house for you. You will have the cost for that agent. You then can incentivize a buyer's agent to bring a buyer to purchase your home. This is not a requirement. There are pros and cons to paying a buyer's agent commission and you will want to discuss this with your real estate agent. You will want to make sure to pick an agent to represent the sale of your home who has knowledge about the market, who you trust, and who has knowledge about the real estate processes and strategies. The real estate process is very complex. Rarely is there a sale where there is not something unique that has to be corrected. The next costs are closing costs. Sellers in rent in Washington usually pay around 3% of the sales price in closing costs. These include title insurance, escrow fees, and county recording fees, and excise tax. Excise tax is a tiered percentage based on the sales price of the home. That is 1.6% and more. See my video on excise tax to know just how much. On a $600,000 home, it would be $9,735. I know it is crazy and there is no way of getting around them. They are required. Be sure you don't confuse this tax with capital gains tax. It is not the same. Let's use a $600,000 home for example. For a $600,000 home, your closing costs, not including commissions, would be $18,000. Depending on which commission level you decide on, total costs to sell a home are from 3%, if you did for sale by owner, to 10%. So we have talked about closing costs and commissions. Now let's talk about home preparation. You'll want your home to look its best, and that can mean staging, repairs, or upgrades. Staging can cost anywhere from free to $5,000, depending on the size of your home and what you choose to do. Please talk to your agent to see if this cost is necessary. There are many different opinions on staging. I believe it depends on the market and the house and the condition. I don't like my clients to spend unnecessary money. And then there are repairs. Maybe you need to fix that leaky faucet or update your landscaping. Repair costs can vary widely, but budgeting a few thousand dollars is a good rule of thumb. Again, your agent can show you what repairs are most necessary. Roof, paint, curb appeal, carpet are four of the top areas to look at. There is another cost to take into consideration if your home is on a private septic system. If you are on city sewer, you will not have this cost. If you have a private septic system, this means you have tanks and a drain filled on your property. You will need to have the system pumped and inspected by a county approved inspector. King and Pierce County both have a process for these. They are a little bit different, but mostly the same. You also will have to have an as-built recorded on title. If you already have one, then no worries. But if you don't, you will need to have one drawn up. This process can cost $1,500 to $2,500 if no repairs are needed. All right, let's recap the key costs of selling a home in Renton. Agent commissions, 2 to 7%. Closing costs, 3%. Repairs and staging, 
zero to five thousand dollars. Excise tax, seven thousand six hundred and eighty. Septic, fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred. In total, closing costs can be anywhere from thirty thousand to sixty thousand for a six hundred thousand dollar home, depending on the specifics of your sale. You would have to add in repairs and staging and septic. But don't worry, these costs come out of your sale proceeds. You don't need to pay for them up front. If you would like a more accurate estimated net proceeds sent to you for your house, fill out the form in the description or call or text me. I would be happy to send one right over. I hope this gives you a better understanding of the costs involved in selling your house. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.